टर्न थर्टी दिस सेप्टेम्बर और आई विल टर्न थर्टी फाइव दिस ऑगस्ट और दे विल टर्न टू दिस इयर ग्रेट ओके देन and mam um, it is also that when we deep red litmus paper into acid it turns blue means the changing in color uh, when we do some uh, chemical practicals hmm. the color changes absolutely so you are talking about the change of color yes very yes. nice cool so the first one is talking about direction the second one is just like a way of saying that the person feels shy so they look a little uh, you know reddish or flustered uh the person talking about their age in the third one and then of some reaction and the color changes so talking about a change in color yes great dipali very nice example very useful sentences thank you so much uh does anyone have any questions around these sentences anything that anyone did not understand ma'am i have read ma'am i have read a message in a uh, chat box Uh-huh. and there there saman seema has written like when will come my turn so i think ma'am when will my turn come yeah correct when will my turn come that's right correct yeah correct. when will my turn come uh, verb should be after subject yeah ma'am correct yeah when will my Thank turn you, come is tarike se bhi turn use kiya ja sakta hai absolutely yes, right. like when will it be my turn to say something or do something when will my chance come perfect good one seema thanks anamita Okay. Anyone else who has any questions around these examples? Okay. Shristi, you have written in the chat box. Whenever my baby gets angry, she always tone her books. Tone, a lot of word hai, but tone nahi kahenge. She always tears her books. Okay. She always tears her books. Because you are a regular thing. Ke baat baar mein baat karo. So you will use simple present tense. so she always tears her books all right cool uh, who's going next so dipali thank you so much that was very good thanks so much for doing this thank you ma'am yes yeah. meera meera you're going next right go ahead meera you can tell us yeah yes ma'am ma'am first word is face 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 ma'am chehra ma'am one word face सामना when i was traveling i had to face many problems okay very nice yes ma'am ma'am second word is train okay i want to sit in uh, train yeah in the train i want to sit in the train hmm. in the train and second sentence ma'am i trained him in the cooking i trained him in i trained him to cook you can to cook also. ma'am okay ma'am to cook i trained him to cook Th- third word ma'am sign hmm. yeah uh, you should sign uh, on this paper here okay and uh, next word is this is the sh- sign this is the sign of uh, depression okay depression yeah yes ma'am next word ma'am aur batao how many more do you have yes ma'am okay and uh, mm, shine or oh. one minute ma'am okay date ma'am date day yes yes um sentence ma'am he is dating her hmm and other meaning of date ma'am khajur hmm there are lots of dates in this basket we can say ma'am yes yeah, okay and ma'am other sentence ma'am uh, 
as as a noun we can say means i want to meet you on 16th date ma'am can we say like this yeah i mean if we you can put the date but since we want to use the word date we will just say i want to meet you on this date स्ट्रेंजर लुक strange look strange look yes and strange look sorry and okay. ma'am another word mm, uh, hold on mira we we'll just have a look at these words first and okay, then we'll go to the, go to another person then if we okay. have time then we we'll look at extra words from you okay ma'am all right okay uh, but this is also very good again you've taken very simple sentences and you know made uh, uh, words and made sentences in different contexts out of them so yeah could you tell us please read the first sentence and tell us what face means yes ma'am hmm. uh, face her face looks very pretty means uska chehra bahut acha dikhta hai so you are you are talking about the physical face yes ma'am yeah. here okay and uh, mm, uh, travel travel means uh, i want to travel in train and uh, well, sorry i i was traveling uh, i had to face many problems Means when i was traveling i have to face many problems ma'am means yeah, here we can say uh, samna karna ma'am hmm. like i had to and, deal with many problems yes ma'am i had to deal with many problems deal many problem yes ma'am deal okay fine and uh, in train ma'am uh, train ma'am first in uh, as a noun means uh, uh, he wants to sit in the train means baithna here we can say is found uh, wants to seat ma'am and uh, train means uh, give give training ma'am hmm. right. as a training and sign ma'am uh, sign signature we can say and next uh, in next sentence ma'am uh, shine means uh, we can say uh, uh, it's like an indication indication we can say ma'am yes. yeah but also the pronunciation mira sign it's a sir sign sign yeah sign sign okay ma'am okay. sign okay ma'am and first sentence ma'am uh, uh, date in uh, in a verb we can say this it's a verb yeah he is yeah. dating her yes ma'am and uh, in second sentence ma'am means time we can say as a time ma'am yeah so he, uh, j- just very quickly though he is dating her means Uh, maybe they are going out on dates or it's yes, the beginning ma'am. of a yes, relationship yes yes ma'am so yes ma'am dating her there are lots of dates date is like the fruit yes ma'am. and i want to meet you on this date simply talking about the date uh, related to a calendar yes ma'am okay and look ma'am uh, means uh, 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 about the face and uh, strange uh, uh, means uh, ajeeb drishti se we can say ma'am so she was looking very pretty or she looked very pretty is to talk about the appearance of a person yes ma'am to talk about the appearance yes, and uh, she gave me a strange look which means usne bahut ajeeb tarike se ha yes ma'am uska jo expression tha she looked at me with a very strange kind of an expression a weird yes, expression yes ma'am okay all right good we all are coming up with good examples of words mira thank you thank you so thank much thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay anyone any questions with this uh, with these sentences please let me know uh seema you've written something look at the blackboard yeah correct this is not a dating this is not a place to date you can say that seema this is not a place to date or something like that Okay, someone has unmuted. Does someone have a question? Ma'am. Yeah, Dipali. Ma'am, uh, number of times I couldn't control my um, train of thoughts. Hmm. Yeah, my train of thoughts. Meaning to say, जो मेरे thoughts चल रहे थे, my train of thoughts. You can use it like that also. Yes. 
ओके कूल थैंक्स दुपाली एनी वन एल्स एनी क्वेश्चन ओके फाइन देन लेट्स गो विद नेक्स्ट पर्सन वी हैव प्रीति हाई प्रीति गुड मॉर्निंग मैम यस गुड मॉर्निंग टेल अस व्हाट डू यू हैव फॉर अस yes please yeah ma'am hmm. first word is ma'am back hmm ye c ke back hmm yes priti go ahead yeah. okay ma'am hmm. back he came back from uh, india sorry to who to india after her marriage after the wedding you can say not marriage after the wedding after the wedding yeah okay, uh, okay. i used to live in live in used to live in bihar two months back uh but you know preeti yahan pe two months back nahi two months ago bolna chahiye hame Two months ago. Oh, uh, oh yeah, ma'am. Okay. Can okay. I, ma'am? Can I use past uh, rather than ago? It means both are correct. Past. Can I use? I used to live in Bihar two months past. Yes. Nee, past. Nee, lagega. Ago hi lagega. Okay. Ah. Got it. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, Preeti, go ahead. No, no, sir. Please look back. Who is coming? Please look back. Who is coming? Uh, no. Please look behind. Please look behind. There is someone coming. Coming. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's no problem. Yeah. Maybe uh, who is coming? Please I look behind. I have got a back pain. Wait. Wait. Bupinder, hold on. Let her tell her sentences. Then we'll talk about it. Riti. Yeah. I have got a back pain. I have a back pain. Okay. Yeah. He. Yeah, back ache. Yeah, pain. It's. He go. He got back in his exam. Uh. Okay. Fine. We'll discuss this. Okay. Then next. And my second. What is ma'am right? Hmm. Tell me. Right. Hmm. The pen is keep. The pen is keep or put in right hand side. Okay. Has been kept. Yeah. Okay. Right hand side. Hmm. I will be right back. Yeah, that's a good one. You have no right to interrupt in his matter. Yeah. Okay. we have to teach our children that we, what is right or wrong which is right or wrong okay all right this is not a right way to talk with your elder okay and the third word is ma'am make okay yeah go ahead yeah ma'am i make 
I will, I will make. Sorry, ma'am. I will make hmm. pudding at my uh, pudding in my lunch today. Hmm. You make a lot of mistakes in your life. In this place, make make or mad. Hmm. And made, uh, yeah. Okay, then anything else? Now, ma'am, it's over for my side. All right, very nice, Preeti. I really like how you have uh, attempted so well to try out different, uh, you know, sentences with these simple words. So he came back to India after his wedding. You know why I told you to say wedding and not marriage, right? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Wedding is that function. Marriage is the full relationship. Okay, so shadi ke baad wo wapas aaya. He came back. So here, what does to come back mean, Riti? What does to come back mean here? Means return back, ma'am. Means return back. He went back to India. Yeah, yeah. To return, not to return back. Come back means to return. Yeah. So either हम return बोल सकते हैं या came back बोल सकते हैं. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. And two months ago, जो हम आप discussion कर रहे थे, two months ago, two minutes ago, ten years ago, कुछ समय के पहले, तो हम ago लगाते हैं end में instead of back. Yes, ma'am. और ऑल्सो प्लीज लुक बैक आप जो कह रहे थे बैक नहीं हम एक्चुअली कहते हैं पीछे तो फॉर पीछे यू बेटर से बिहाइंड बेटर टू से बिहाइंड प्लीज लुक बिहाइंड समवन इज कमिंग आई थिंक समवन इज कमिंग सो भूपेंद्र हियर यू हैड अ क्वेश्चन राइट और अ कंफ्यूजन राधर सो प्लीज लुक बिहाइंड समवन इज कमिंग और प्लीज प्लीज लुक बिहाइंड आई थिंक समवन इज कमिंग और देर समवन बिहाइंड You can just put it across like that. Okay. So uh, there is a one more query uh, in this sentence. That is the ago and past. How mm -hmm. can we use a uh, past uh, uh, in which words I can align that word? Yeah. So when you're talking about a duration, any kind of time period or duration, mm -hmm. uh, and you're saying that this time has passed. So you say that you know I finished this work two weeks ago, or I used to live here ten years ago. So okay. that's how you can use ago when you're talking about a specific period and you're saying this happened or something happened with me so many years ago. Okay. Now how do you use past? You're saying P A S T. P A S T. Yes, that's -S -T. right. Okay. How do we use it? Let's see. Uh, now there are many ways of using it. I can say I can't see past his mistakes. मतलब उसके mistakes के आगे मैं कुछ देख नहीं पा रही हूँ. I can't see past his mistake. Okay. Or I can say, अगर time की बात कर रहे हैं, then I can say, uh, you have been late to work uh, so many times in the past two weeks. Okay. So यह मैं past भी बोल सकती हूँ या last भी बोल सकती हूँ. Okay. So जब हम कहना चाहते हैं ना जैसे पिछले पिछले दो दिनों में in the past mm -hmm. two weeks. I have mm -hmm. not done any exercise, mm -hmm. or in the last two weeks I haven't done any exercise. Okay. Or uh, in the past two years I haven't travelled anywhere because of COVID. Okay. So पिछले वो जो हम एक पिछले हाँ एक एक तरीके से कहना चाहते हैं there mm -hmm. you can use past or last. Okay, got it. Now got it. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. So yeah, I have a back ache would be better than saying I have a back pain. Okay, Preeti. Back yeah, ma'am. Uh, he got back in his exam. Yeah, I didn't understand. What did you try to say over here, Preeti? Ma'am, it means he he failed in his exam. Okay, he failed in his exam. Okay. It's a compartment. You can say. Uh, yeah, ma'am. He got back. We okay. also say in like this type of. Hmm. So he fell 
he fell behind or he got back in his exam you you're saying this means he failed in his exam yeah okay fine uh the pen has been kept on the right you mean to say it, it has been kept on the right side right yeah yes ma'am right side okay and i will be right back which means i will come back immediately uh, within no time very quickly yes ma'am okay you have no right to interfere i think when you were saying you said interrupt but if the word you want to use is interfere मतलब आपको कोई हक नहीं है अधिकार हाँ इंटरफियर करने का इंटरफियर नॉट इंटरअप इंटरफियर विच मीन्स टू मेडल इन समन एल्स इज बिजनेस टांग अड़ाना किसी और के मैटर में ओके कूल ऑल दी अदर सॉरी मैम आई है नो प्रॉब्लम I will make pudding for lunch today, Preeti. I will make pudding for lunch today. Instead of saying in my lunch, it's a literal translation. Ab bol sakte ho. I will make pudding for lunch today. For lunch today. Hmm. Yeah. I will make whatever for lunch today. And uh, sorry for interrupting. Here I would like to know about pudding. Uh, this word is not in my memory. Pudding. Pudding mean? is like uh, what is pudding? Pudding. Khir. 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 हलवा भी कह सकते हैं मैम खीर एनी स्वीट्स थिंग्स आफ्टर हैविंग दिन स्वीट्स मैम पुडिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ स्वीट मोस्टली वी हैव आफ्टर डिनर और आफ्टर फूड मैम डिजर्ट वी कैन से यस यस देयर आर डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ पुडिंग आई आई थिंक भूपेंद्र गॉट द आईडिया लेट्स स्टॉप इट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट इट्स अ स्वीट लाइक डेजर्ट मैम इट कॉल हलवा भी बोलते हैं क्योंकि आई मेड कैरेट पुडिंग इन द विंटर आई यूजुअली मेक कैरेट पुडिंग इन द विंटर या यू कैन सिंपली से कैरेट हलवा नॉट अ बिग डील इट इज ओके टू यूज एन इंडियन वर्ड इट इज एन इंडियन डिश राइट बिकॉज़ पुडिंग टिपिकली इज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एन इंग्लिश पुडिंग आल्सो व्हाट यू गेट व्हिच इज मेड इन दे आर कुजीन इन एन इंग्लिश कुजीन व्हाट वी मेक इज एक्चुअली हलवा शीरा एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर सो एनीवे इफ यू वांट टू यूज द वर्ड पुडिंग यू कैन more importantly the last one is what i want to look at you have made a lot of mistakes in your life yeah after speaking i got because if you say you make a lot of mistakes also you can it means you are trying to tell the person ki aap bahut galtiyan karte ho you know life mein you make a lot of mistakes and agar aapko kehna hai ki aap you know karte aaye ho itne sare galtiyan so you have made a lot of mistakes in your life so depending on what you want to say All right, very nice, Preeti. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Anyone, any questions with these sentences? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I have a what, ma'am? Wait, wait, Abhay, wait. I want to know if you have any questions related to these sentences on the screen. Or no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Okay. So then I will add your names to the list of people who are waiting to speak. Yes, so, ma'am. Abhay and Manju. Yes, ma'am. Um, ma'am, I have a question. One minute, one minute, guys. All of you are speaking at the same time. Anamika, tell me first. Yes, ma'am. Actually, we always use like uh, I don't want to go in my past or in your past. So I don't want right to sentence, ma'am. I don't want to get into your past. I don't want to. If we are talking about something, get, bolne, get tumhare, into. Yeah, get into your past. कि मुझे आपके पास में क्या हुआ था और क्या नहीं हुआ था मुझे उसमें नहीं जाना है आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू इट सो आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू योर पास्ट मींस योर बीता हुआ समय योर बीता हुआ कल इज दैट व्हाट यू आर आस्किंग अनामिका ओके मैम एंड मैम संतोषी हैज रिटन एक्चुअली यस मैम आई एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट आल्सो गेटिंग दैट सो आई एम आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन मैम गेट ऑन द चेयर एंड गेट इनटू द चेयर व्हाट Can you get, get on the chair? In... I know, but get into the chair. It is right, ma'am. You can't get into a chair. How can you? You will break the chair and get into it. It doesn't make sense, no. You can't get into a chair. Yes, ma'am. You can uh, get on to a chair. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think get whoever asked the question also must have understood. Okay, Anamika, any other question? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Okay. Uh, 
Tanisha, do you Hello, have... Yeah, no, ma'am. Uh, please write down my name, and uh, I want to know: uh, is there any topic, and uh, they are just discussing their doubts? No, nobody. We are not only discussing doubts. This is a task I had given yesterday, where you all had to come up with certain words that can be used in different ways in various sentences. So, how when we change our sentence, the meaning of the word changes. That's what we are looking at. And if anyone has any questions related to the sentences, we are discussing them. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Yes, yes. I am Audrey. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I am joining class from Melbourne, ma'am. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Welcome. Yeah. Here, time is here three o'clock, three p.m. Yeah. And yeah, ma'am. Here is a winter. Very nice, Maliha. Thanks for joining, and uh, great to know that you joined and you're you're happy with the uh, moving to Australia. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very left green, ma'am. If you want to see, I will show you. No, no, it's okay. Don't switch on your video. It's a global platform. You don't want to do that. I understand what you're saying. Okay, Thanks for joining. You can listen in today. Yeah, yeah. But have you prepared any list of words that you have to share? No, ma'am. I don't know about it. I will just join and I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Uh, who's this? Go ahead. I'm Tarla. Yeah, yeah, Tarla. Go ahead. I joined late, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, I'll repeat myself then once again. So basically, yesterday I had given a task to everybody where you all have to come up with words, at least one or two words. That can be used in different ways in different sentences. जैसे आप अगर सुन रहे थे तो आपने देखा होगा एक वर्ड को जब हम अलग सेंटेंस में डालते हैं तो उसका मीनिंग चेंज होता है तो वही हम लोग कर रहे हैं तो जिन्होंने प्रिपेयर किया है वो शेयर कर रहे हैं थ्री पी एम का भी वेबिनार है अगर आप तभी ज्वाइन करके प्रिपेयर करके ज्वाइन करना चाहते हो एंड देन यू कैन शेयर योर वर्ड एट दैट टाइम ओके Please go ahead. My first word is compact. Compact, yeah, nice. Our previous office was quite compact. Our previous office was quite compact. Very nice. Very nice. This is a very good one. Okay. Next, ma'am. He is trying to compact his bag. Hmm. But he can't compact his bag. Did you mean to say compress his bag or make it compact? Make it compact. Make it smaller. Yeah. So he's trying to make his bag compact. You can't okay, say compact his bag. Okay. Okay, ma'am. All right. Yeah. Then next. She always keeps a compact. Yeah. In her bag. Yeah. Okay. Great. Man, let me know compact meanings. Yeah. Yeah. We'll discuss it, Bhupinder. First, let her share her sentences. Then we'll she'll talk about them. Okay. Next, Tarun. Next word is word, ma'am. Desert. Okay. He was deserted by his family. Okay. Yeah. Next, ma'am. The desert night was cold and dark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. And the third, third word, ma'am. Bank. Hmm. Ram has taken a debt. Hmm. From the bank. Okay, very nice. Yeah. She lives near mm -hmm. the bank of river. Or we can also say she lives near the river bank. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, we just it sounds better when you say it like that. Okay, ma'am. That's it. Yeah, no, ma'am. The one more yeah. second. Wait a second. He scored second in his test. 
he's for the second place or the second rank okay ma'am in his test yeah that's all ma'am very nice sir thank you i would like you to explain please if you can just read your sentence and tell us what it yes, is ma'am what i want yeah so our previous office was quite compact in this sentence quite uh, compact means small which is not uh, enough big very nice okay go, go ahead he is trying to make his bag compact but he can't this mean uh, his bag is bigger so he is trying to make it smaller uh, other, uh, in compared to uh, as he has a bigger bag so he wants to make it uh, smaller hmm. and the third word mean a compact it is a case of makeup hmm. but read so, the sentence first okay ma'am she always keeps a compact in her bag means a case of makeup hmm. or she always keeps it in her bag hmm. desert he was he was deserted by his family means he was abandoned or left by his family uh, he is uh, abandoned okay ma'am abandoned abandoned or left not left left okay ma'am let alone by his family yes. the desert night was cold and dark here the desert means dry area which is uh, little sandy area correct and it's pronounced as desert 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 okay. because if you say dessert it becomes a sweet dish that we eat and okay, it, the spelling will be double s yes ma'am okay so this is yes, dessert dessert like rain sun dessert okay ma'am dessert bank ram has taken a debt from the bank here i am talking about bank a financial bank like from where we keep our money or we take loan and she lives near the river bank here we are talking about uh, side of a river that is also called bank second wait a second here we are talking about time like second minute hour he scored the second place in his test means uh, the rank like first second third so second is here perfect tarub and this is how i wanted the exercise to also go i wanted you all only to give me the word read the sentence and explain the sentence in english and try to use minimal usage of any other language so very nice tarub that was very good and good the words also uh, you, now ma'am. you're welcome let's ask bupender do you still have any question or did you understand uh, no ma'am i got it uh, uh, the meaning of the compact it's a uh, my mind is also saying uh, it's a little it means uh, chota but hmm. finally got the answer perfect yeah okay anyone else who has any questions around these words or sentences yes ma'am can we ma'am uh, compact compact meaning maybe means asar can we say in hindi ma'am asar jaise give me a sentence For example, means in Hindi, ma'am, I can describe. I have explained to him. I understand him, but it is not clear to him. Asal, for compact, we use it. It's a compact car, okay, like this. Compact car. Correct, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I want to confirm. Uh, to, to confirm, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Oh, no, no, but not for compact. uh you can say there was no effect on him you know i tried to explain it to him but it did there was no effect he did not understand it okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay, ma'am ma i ma'am i also want to know a compact means a problem like uh, this is not a very big problem but he, she made it very she made made it as a compact no 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 why are you guys so confused with what compact means compact compact is something which you know is very Uh, very small compact okay. just bupender ne kaha this is a very compact car not many people can sit in it or for example our office was very compact it was very small so you know it was very difficult to work over there ya fir jaise the how the way tarub has said she always keeps a compact in her bag it's like a you know powder case that that uh, you know people use for makeup 
कॉम्पैक्ट का मतलब है किसी चीज जो छोटा है ये हम छोटा करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं किसी चीज को द फ्लैट इज वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट यू नो इट्स स्मॉल फ्लैट इज वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट so there's not much ventilation in the flat ma'am yes ma'am actually i confused that complicated and compact is a different ah, i yes. so thought that that was complicated ma'am so, there is one sentence uh, this wallet is well compact this wallet is very compact yes ma'am to so, say that ye kafi chhota hai compact hai same same meaning hai uska bhi compact chhota hai मतलब वी कैन यूज कॉम्पैक्ट वर्ड्स रादर देन स्मॉल या करेक्ट इट्स अ बेटर वर्ड टू यूज लाइक आई कैन से यू नो दिस कार इज वेरी स्मॉल इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट आई कैन से द कार इज वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट यू नो यू कैन पुट टू मच ऑफ लगेज इनटू इट यू आर राइट मैम कैन आई मेक वन सेंटेंस यूज इन कॉम्पैक्ट गो हेड यस मैम इन आवर लाइफ प्रॉब्लम्स आर वेरी बिग बट वी कैन मेक इट एज अ कॉम्पैक्ट no you can't make problems compact see again try to understand compact is related to size when you talking about a size about a space compact ke liye hum kaun se context isliye hum ye exercise kar rahe hain samajhne ke liye ki kaun se word kaun se context mein baithte hain to okay. so, agar aap compact use kar rahe ho to agar aap size ke bare mein baat kar rahe ho space ke bare mein baat kar rahe ho ah uh, तारुब और किसी चीज के लिए कॉम्पैक्ट कैन बी यूज कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर वेट वेट मैम मैम आई आई सेंटेंस होल्ड 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 ऑन ऑन गाइस योर हॉर्सेस तारुब नॉन लिविंग थिंग कैन बी वन सेकंड मंजू आई वाज़ द क्वेश्चन like i read compact is an adjective verb as well as a noun hmm. like in my first word uh, first sentence it was a adjective right and in my second third sentence it is a noun perfect yes and in my second sentence i was trying to make it as a verb like he is compacting his bag or something like that i was trying to make it huh. but i think i couldn't Yeah, like I want to make his bag more compact. So then you you change it. That's okay. But I'm asking whether it can be used for any other kind of thing. Like I can use it to talk about size of something. I can use it to talk about space of something. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I use it to talk about anything else? Did you I come across? No, ma'am. Fine, no, ma'am. So yeah, as for whatever I know, at least you can use it to talk about size and space. You guys can Google later and check if compact can be used to talk about anything else. But normally, ये size के लिए या space के लिए use किया जाता है compact. Size of something. But again, not size. मैं ये नहीं बोल सकती हूँ मेरा जो shirt है वो बहुत compact है. My shirt is tight. My shirt is small. But my car is compact. My flat is quite compact. The space is compact. Okay, can't talk. Use to talk about human beings and living things. No. Okay. Anyone else? Any questions now related to compact? Ah, yes, yes, ma'am. Mm hmm. Yeah, Abhay, go ahead. Ma'am, the soil is being compacted. No, the soil is being. You are talking about composite. Compacted, ma'am, means a rolling compact compaction. ये कोई टेक्निकल वर्ड है तो लेट्स गिव टेक्निकल टर्म्स असाइड अबे दे डोंट गेट सो टेक्निकल मैं मैं इन में इन आवर एरिया में सोइल को कंपैक्शन करते हैं ठीक है तो वो आपके इंडस्ट्री में चलेगा वो टेक्निकल है बहुत टेक्निकल टर्म मत डालो इसमें अबे हम लोग लेमन के टर्म के बारे में बात करें नॉर्मली तो हम बोलते हैं मैं sentence mein okay mein ah, theek hai chalega bhai i got it sorry i understood but i don't want to confuse the others okay yes. anyone any other questions related to what you see or no ma'am no ma'am okay. no ma'am but cool. here i would like to request sweta uh, 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 if she allow me uh, before uh, her turn ma'am i wait wait sweta where are you 
Hello. Ma'am, here I am. Even I need to leave, ma'am. <laughs> Even I have meeting after five minutes. Okay, cool. So then uh, Shweta will have to go ahead, Bhupinder. We have a webinar at three p.m. Also, the rest. Ah, uh, <laughs> not possible that time because of. Then join office. tomorrow, Bhupinder. I can't help you. Sorry, I can't just. Okay, no problem. No handling problem. Handling the. Uh, yeah. Okay, Shweta, go ahead, please. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I have word. Uh, engaged. Hmm. My brother got engaged last night. Okay, cool, very nice. And other one is everyone gets engaged during their college tenure. Ah, uh, okay. Get engaged during their college tenure. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. And last one is uh, she was. Eager to engage the enemy. Okay. ठीक है. Anything else? No, ma'am. Other word I have. You have another word. Another word. Yes. Hmm. Plot. Hmm. There is a plot beside my house. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Second one. Yeah. The writer is plotting a new novel. Very nice. Okay. Uh, they plotted his murder well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's all, ma'am. All right. Cool. So yes, please read the first sentence, Shweta, and please tell us what it means. So, uh, engaged. Uh, my brother got engaged last night. Like, what to say, ma'am? In this, it's it's uh, engaged means uh, they engagement. got engagement. Uh, and uh, and the second one is everyone gets engaged during their college tenure. Like, if we go to college, that time, my student gets very busy during their. college time because they have to study a lot okay and the uh, last one she, she was eager to engage the enemy it means uh, like um, she wanted to battle with uh, their enemy means uh, with she her was, enemy for sorry ma'am with her enemy right yeah her, her enemy okay and uh, for a uh, plot there is a plot beside my house means it, uh, it's straight forward like uh, there was there is a uh, one empty land beside my house yeah so when you are saying plot over here you mean to say land or property yeah property okay. and the second one the writer is plotting a new novel it means uh, a write uh, writer is uh, Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the class, guys. I hope all of you are doing fine. Good morning, Raghavendra. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Yes, I'm also doing fine. Okay, so we will start in a couple of minutes, and we will be continuing with our discussion on pronouns. We have started pronouns in the previous class. If you guys have any questions or doubts related to what we have done till now, you guys can ask me. If not, ma'am, I then have a question, ma'am. Yes, yes, Raghavendra, please ask. Uh, direct, direct speech. Okay, direct or indirect speech, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Question is, uh, we said we will get married year. Ah, uh, let me write it down. Yes, can you tell me the sentence once again? 
she said we will get married next year she said okay so this is the sentence right yes ma'am the answer is she said they would get married next year no that's not really the answer the answer should be she said that they would get married the next year is this the answer um i think ma'am ma here in the next year let me say the following year ma'am yeah the following year the next year whatever you want to say you just have to remember to add the okay you can say the yes, next year or the following year whichever one you want but is the rest of the sentence the same ah yes ma'am here i forgot to add that one actually that and i forgot to write here okay okay see will what is changing here in the sentence we is becoming they will is becoming would and next year is simply becoming either you can say the next year or you can say the following year whichever one you want okay both are correct yes ma'am all right yes raghavendra any other question is this clear yes ma'am it's clear ma'am okay. thank you ma'am most welcome most welcome any other questions guys any other doubts good morning uh, manju good morning ma'am good morning good morning vishwanath uh, shantanu pratap yeah. welcome yeah. to the class guys okay let's continue good morning ma'am good morning good morning chaliye let's continue with what we were discussing in the previous class we were doing uh, personal pronouns right and first person second person or third person humne acche se thoda sa dekha tha if i'm not wrong one sec ma'am yes ma'am you were you were taking last evening in the uh, speaking session uh, about uh, abstract noun uh it it is good idea uh to uh, uh, to learn abstract and other nouns uh please uh, keep keep it on uh, this is the better way one can easily understand about nouns definitely definitely thank you so much manju i'll definitely try and share more more such classes okay yes yes ma'am okay great chali so let's continue with what we were doing guys we had started uh, so parts of speech kar rahe the nouns was done right nouns humne uh, complete kar liya hai types of nouns unko kaise use karna hai plural kaise banta hai gender kaise change hota hai everything we are done with next we came uh, to pronouns we started pronouns and we saw that there are nine different types of pronouns that we will be covering right we saw what is antecedent antecedent is the noun that is being replaced by the pronoun please don't miss these uh, initial classes guys i will uh, tell you guys again and again that don't miss these classes because once you miss to basics jo hai aapko samajh mein nahi aayenge aur baad mein you will face problem right later on you will face problems in understanding more difficult concepts so antecedent kya hai we discussed antecedent is basically the noun that is being replaced by the pronoun जो प्रोनाउन जिस नाउन को रिप्लेस कर रहा है वो उसका एंटीसिडेंट कहलाता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सैम इज एबसेंट बिकॉज ही इज इल हियर ही द प्रोनाउन ही इज रिप्लेसिंग द नाउन सैम सैम की जगह पर बैठ रहा है इसीलिए इसका इस ही का एंटीसिडेंट सैम है ओके दिस इज वॉट वी टॉक्ट अबाउट देन वी लुक एट द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रोनाउन दैट इज पर्सनल प्रोनाउन मोस्टली यूज फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स we saw that personal pronouns are divided into three categories first person second person and third person first person maybe we saw that it is divided into singular and plural and of course all of these categories are divided into three very important parts that is nominative possessive and accusative and ye bahut bahut important tha we have also done one exercise on i and me right i versus me i kahan pe use hoga aur me kahan pe use hoga and then we looked at second second person that is you your yours 
uh, and again you of course and then we looked at third person third person is the most complex one we have completed this we have discussed about this so third person is basically we have a division between singular third person singular and third person plural we also have a division within the third person singular that is masculine feminine and uh, neuter and then of course we have a division of nominative possessive and accusative राइट सो ये हमारा पूरा का पूरा पर्सनल प्रोनाउन का डिवीजन है दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू मस्ट रिमेंबर ये बहुत बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके गाइस स्पेशली द थर्ड पर्सन सो वी विल मूव ऑन टू सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट टुडे इफ यू गाइस हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम व्हाट आई हैव टॉट टिल नाउ यू गाइस कैन आस्क आई विल आंसर देन वी विल मूव ऑन टू सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट इफ नॉट देन आई विल स्टार्ट Yes. Any questions, guys? Um, personal pronouns, ma'am. Are you teaching personal pronouns? Yes, yes. I we are done with personal pronouns. We are just going to like uh, talk about the subject verb agreement today. Subject verb agreement related to personal pronouns, ma'am. Related to personal pronouns. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I have a request, ma'am. Ma'am, yes. in Words Power Made Easy book, there are around ten questions related to this personal pronouns topic. so if you can once discuss those 10 questions okay definitely let's complete the those subject verb agreement then we can move on or uh, is it something that we can do now those are really confusing ma'am sometimes like uh, i mean i found them uh, difficult okay i'll like, see one second okay first tell me do you guys have any questions from personal pronouns any doubts Um, you first can complete person. subject verb agreement, ma'am. First, after that we can do. Yes, yes. One second. Can you tell me the page number? I think. I think, ma'am, fifty, ma'am. Uh, like there is, there is related to some quiz. It's I think. Pink. I need to check, ma'am. Just you just. You can continue. Yeah, I am. I am continuing. You please check and let me know after subject verb agreement. We can do. Okay, ma'am. I don't think it's fifty. It will be. I just want to know the rules behind uh, those questions, ma'am. Okay. Let's let's see if we can answer. All right. So, uh, personal pronouns are clear. Now we will look at subject verb agreements related to personal pronouns. Subject verb agreement क्या होता है? First of all, we will understand this. Okay, हर एक चीज जो बोला जा रहा है, please try and understand. These are the very basics of grammar. ये आप समझ जाएंगे, तो बाकी सब कुछ समझना एकदम it will be a cake walk. Okay. So for example, if I say Anisha eats ice cream. Okay. If I say Anisha eats ice cream. We understand here that the subject of the sentence is Anisha, right? She is the subject. Why? Because she is doing the action of eating. That is the verb of the sentence. So, with whatever the verb, uh, whatever be the verb of the sentence, uh, if that is being performed by someone or something, that is called the subject of the sentence. Okay. And whatever is receiving that action is called the object of the sentence. Right, so Anisha is doing the action of eating, and what is being eaten? What is receiving the action of being eaten? It is the ice cream. So it is the object, and eats is obviously the verb of the sentence. Right. So the basic, the simplest definition, a sentence may, वो भी एक sentence कहला सकता है. For example, I sleep, I eat, I go, I come. These are also sentences. Okay. these also function as sentences because in these also we are having a subject that is i and a verb that is eat sleep go jo bhi hai right so here in this sentence the subject is anisha of course and eats is the verb right so you can understand that anisha is performing this action of eating and that is why subject verb agreement subject and verb should agree they should be in One second, guys. There is some kind of noise going. On. 
मैम क्रीम इज डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द अनिशा वेट वेट I'm so sorry, guys. There was a little bit of procession. Uh, there is a little bit of procession going on, so I don't know why they are playing on this. Okay. So, ah, uh, yes, Manju, you were asking, is cream the direct object of Anisha? Yes, it is an object, but not the cream. The entire word ice cream is the direct object. Why? You can see that it is being eaten, right? The action of eating is being received by this word that is ice cream. ओके सो बेसिकली जो चीज काम करती है उसको हम सब्जेक्ट बोलते हैं जो चीज जिस चीज पर काम किया जाता है उसको हम ऑब्जेक्ट बोलते हैं इज दिस क्लियर मंजू यस मैम बट माय क्वेश्चन इज करीम इज डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अनिशा आइसक्रीम यस इट इज डेफिनेटली डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अनिशा राइट मैम थैंक यू ओके uh one more thing that you guys need to understand is the subject verb agreement jo ki hamare liye important hai right so this subject and this verb should agree with each other subject change hoga to verb ka form bhi change hoga this is what subject verb agreement means if the subject changes in form the verb will also change in form ab different pronouns ke liye different tarike ke hum verbs use karte hain this is what we are going to learn today ki kaun se uh, pronoun ke liye kaun sa verb sahi hoga okay kaun se form ka verb sahi hoga now why is this important because if you use wrong like sochiye aapne i ke sath was use kar diya सॉरी एम एम की जगह पे आई के साथ आर यूज कर दिया वो गलत हो जाएगा दैट विल बी इनकरेक्ट बिकॉज देन आई इज द सब्जेक्ट आर इज द वर्ब एंड दे आर नॉट अग्रीइंग विथ इच अदर वो एक दूसरे के साथ अग्री नहीं कर रहे हैं ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपसे गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग अभय वी आर जस्ट डिस्कसिंग सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट ओके अग्रीमेंट मैम यस यस सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट ओके Ma'am, I is is ma'am. I will have. I am. Yes, it will be. It is, I am. It should be. I am eating. Exactly. It absolutely. It should be. I am, I am eating. eating. Absolutely. You are. You guys are absolutely correct. It should be. I am eating ice cream. Right. So the question is, क्या बोला जा रहा है? देखिए, I जो है, ये हमारा subject है. Right. और he जो है. ये हमारा सब्जेक्ट है दीज आर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ दर रिस्पेक्टिव सेंटेंसेस राइट ही के साथ इस लगाया गया है इससे क्या पता चल रहा है दिस इज अ प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस सेंटेंस राइट सो देन आई के साथ भी इस लगना चाहिए प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस में बट इट विल नॉट बी सो ऐसा नहीं होगा आई के साथ कौन सा वर्ड लगेगा एम लगेगा आई विल यूज एम फॉर प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस ओके दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू गाइज की जस्ट बिकॉज टेंस सेम है जस्ट बिकॉज सेंटेंस का मतलब मोर और लेस सेम है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि वर्ब भी सेम होगा अगर सब्जेक्ट को चेंज कर देंगे देखिए रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज एब्सोल्यूटली सेम बिल्कुल सेम है सिर्फ सब्जेक्ट चेंज हो रहा है ओनली द सब्जेक्ट इज चेंजिंग एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द चेंज इन सब्जेक्ट वी आर चेंजिंग द वर्ब फ्रॉम इज टू एम अंडरस्टूड दिस इज सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट द वर्ड विल चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस so i have got a small list of verbs and pronouns here you guys can take a screenshot of this this is pretty uh, good i would say interesting right dekhiye i ke sath kya kya use hota hai if it is present tense a simple present ho sakta hai present continuous ho sakta hai present uh, perfect to nahi hoga 
बट इट कैन बी सिंपल प्रेजेंट और प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस आई के साथ हमेशा एम लगेगा ओके आई विल ऑलवेज यूज एम वी के साथ आर लगेगा यू के साथ आर लगेगा ही शी इट के साथ इज लगेगा दे के साथ आर लगेगा सैम के साथ इज लगेगा एंड सैम एंड रीटा के साथ आर लगेगा सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर इसेंशियली यू विल सी दीज आर ये जो हमारे है these four columns they are called sorry these four rows they are called the third person singular pronouns kya bola jata hai third person singular agar aap log uh, ko yaad hai dekhiye third person singular he she it right he she it hamare third person singular hai so nominative case mein jo hai sirf wahi subject ki tarah use kiye ja sakte hai right only the pronouns that are in the nominative case can be used as the subject here we have three subjects from the third person singular he she and it and any singular nouns any singular nouns like sam rita anisha uh, jack uh, tree cat dog These are also singular nouns. Okay, so ये जो है हमारे singular, third person singular, they will use the same pronouns. You can see they will use the same pronouns. So सिर्फ इन्हीं के लिए हम इस का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं. For only for the third person singular we are using is. Rest all of these, rest of the uh, nouns या pronouns जो भी हमारे पास है, we are using are except I. I के लिए am use कर रहे. I थोड़ा सा different है. I थोड़ा सा अपने तरीके से चलता है. Otherwise you can see that all of them are using are. Okay, is this clear? So you can understand कि जो third person singular है, वो थोड़ा सा different चलते हैं. Third person singulars follow a different kind of subject verb agreement other than uh, and the rest rest of the verbs jo bhi sorry and the rest of the pronouns jo bhi hai nouns jo bhi hai wo apna rule follow karte hai okay look at the second one was or were ka difference i is using was and all the third person pronouns and all the single nouns they are using was and the rest of the pronouns are using were so i was going to the mall he was watching movie she was planning to go on a trip it was standing uh, on the टूल सैम वॉज लेट फॉर वर्क बाकी जो भी है वी यू दे एंड सैम एंड रीटा वर वी वर गोइंग टू द पार्क यू वर बींग वॉच दे वर लेट टू दे वर्क सैम एंड रीटा वर हैविंग फन ओके so you can see that rest of the uh, rest of the pronouns are using were. सिर्फ I and all the third person singular pronouns are using was. Okay. Now, if we come to have and has, सिर्फ और सिर्फ third person singular pronouns ही has का इस्तेमाल करते हैं. Only third person singular pronouns use has. He has gone to the mall. She has uh, eaten her food. It has uh, escaped from the prison. Uh, Sam has uh, cooked a meal. बाकी जितने भी हमारे pronouns है, nouns है, all of them are using have. I have gone to the mall. We have seen the film. You have completed your work. They have called me for dinner. Sam and Rita have escaped. Okay, understood. All of these uh, differences and do and does. Does का भी same है देखिए. Does जो है सिर्फ और सिर्फ third person singular के लिए use होगा. Only third person singular. He does. Uh, does he get uh, to work on time uh, does she eat his uh, eat her homework it does not want to be left alone sam does not uh, um, uh, seek any company okay do kahan pe use ho raha hai rest of the pronouns rest of the nouns we are using do i do not have a pen we do not want to go to the movies you do not have to come to my house they do not have to do their homework uh, sam and rita do not have to uh, come to the party okay another one runs so runs basically is any form any verb with s any verb runs eats goes uh, sleeps jo bhi hai jo bhi verb usme agar s laga rahe hain we are using it only with third person singular if it is third person singular only then we are adding s to the verb he runs 5 miles every day she goes to the park every day it chases me around the park sam uh eats her meal every day but baki jitne bhi pronouns hai the rest of the pronouns are using the verb without s i run to the park 
we saw the ghost uh sorry we see ghosts every day you uh, eat your food on time they uh, escape the prison every year sam and rita study every day okay so on and so forth so you can understand only for third person singular pronouns we are using verbs with s अदरवाइज किसी के साथ भी हम इसका इस्तेमाल नहीं कर रहे हैं देखिए डू डज हैज सॉरी डू डज हैव हैज और ये जो है कि वर्ब प्लस एस इसमें आप देख सकते हैं दैट द रूल ऑफ यूजिंग द प्रोना द वर्ब्स विथ एस ओनली अप्लाइज टू द थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर सिर्फ और सिर्फ थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर के साथ ही ये सारे वर्ब्स के एस वाले फॉर्म्स यूज हो रहे हैं राइट right? एंड इसका जो फॉर्म है बेसिकली बी के जो फॉर्म से एम इज आर एंड वॉज वर इसका आपको थोड़ा सा याद रखना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर आई थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट है बिकॉज आई यूज एम एंड वॉज रेस्ट ऑफ देंट रेस्ट ऑफ द जो भी प्रोनाउंस है उसमें से सिर्फ थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर ही इज और वॉज का इस्तेमाल करते हैं बाकी जो भी है आई यूजिंग आर एंड वर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर गाइज यस एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट यस राघवेंद्र Yes, ma'am. Ma uh, yes. We use do with I. Is there any reason for that, ma'am, or uh, this grammar rule? Just grammar rule. No reason. Okay. Just remember this, Raghavendra, that the third person singular, they form their own group. Third person singular form their own group. If you look at this entire structure, all these three structures: first person, second person, third person, right? Out of these. how many can be now uh, subjects here 1 2 3 4 from third person we are getting four from second person we are getting one right you so five and from first person we are getting two six seven so only seven subjects can be made out of pronouns only seven okay so from these seven subjects you can see the three of these uh, pronouns that is he she and it they are forming their own group they are called the third person singular they follow their own rules they follow their own rules they have their own rules and out of all of these you can remember it like this they are like kind of like different from everyone else right and i jo hai the word i that is also little rebellious wo kahi kahi pe apne rules follow karta hai it follows its own rules in certain cases otherwise it follows the same rules as we you and they understood raghavendra there is nothing to understand yes, here there is more like to understand ki okay this is going with this this is going with that more like remembering not understanding much okay raghavendra yes ma'am yes ma'am thank you okay most welcome so take a screenshot of this guys and we will do some questions uh, from subject verb agreement any other questions any other doubts from subject verb agreement is this clear so i don't want you to guys make uh, yes meera do you have a question ma'am only this uh, one i have to take screenshot ma'am no you have to take screenshots of everything i am teaching okay take screenshots of i can't as see ma'am actually you can't see the screen i just reshare which is the means first from beginning ma'am i want to take meera then you will have yes, to watch uh, yes Yesterday's uh, class, okay. Yesterday we have discussed about. Uh, yesterday, this. I have taken, ma'am. Yesterday I have taken, ma'am. I want this to is... take only two okay. days, ma'am. Two days. Today we have just discussed this. Nothing yes. else. Only this, okay. Okay, ma'am. Just take a you. screenshot Because of this. Busy, no, problem. So, okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. Take a screenshot of this. Okay. Yes, so yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Gina, do you have a question? Ma'am, one word you spoke a little bit rebellious. What is the meaning of this? a little bit rebellious i think rebellious ma'am rebellious ma'am please so as person is second person ma'am yes i'll show rebellious okay i think it is a single l or double l i'm not really sure rebellious ka matlab hota hai ki wo rules ko nahi mante aise log jo rules ko nahi mante unko hum bolte hain rebellious people okay okay ma'am yes yes please yes okay so uh, rina rebellious ma'am yes bidrohi bidrohi yes kind of bidrohi right so you can remember it like this ki he she it jo hai third person singular they are a, uh, they are kind of rebellious so they have like a different uh, rule unka apna rules hai right and jo first person hai 
और जो सिंगुलर है आई वो मोस्टली सारे रूल्स फॉलो करता है सिवाय वॉज एंड एम के वॉज एंड एम वो अपना फॉलो करता है अदरवाइज इट फॉलोज ऑल द सेम रूल्स ऑफ यू वी एम दे ओके यस मैम क्लियर मैम मिस्टर अबे जी वॉज आस्किंग फॉर सेकेंड पर्सन एंड फर्स्ट डायरेक्ट पर्सन प्लीज एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल नो नो ही इज नॉट आस्किंग ही जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट राइट अभे फिफ्टी Uh, यहाँ पे तो पेज नंबर ही नहीं है बुक में आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनी पेज नंबर ओनली कार्तिक मींस ओके कैन यू टेल मी द पेज नंबर फ्रॉम लाइक यू मस्ट हैव ओपेंड इट इन दैट पीडीएफ रीडर राइट नो आई हैव अ बुक इन माय हैंड ओ यू हैव अ बुक इन इन योर हैंड ओके मैम इट्स आफ्टर सेशन 3 Uh, like a test your grammar test your grammar teaser question for the immature etymology stick to your time schedule uh, answer in chapter 8 end of session 3 after that test brief. your grammar this one right test one easy yeah brief intermission one brief in test two harder test three hardest yes yes that one all test two hardest this one we have just uh, interviewed like, an applicant in three levels there are some questions related to this uh, personal pronouns so i want to ask okay, okay, okay ma'am first we will complete this okay yes let's complete this i think people will understand better okay no problem uh, all right chaliye let's look at the questions here so these are all subject verb agreements you have to tell me the correct verb that will go with the correct subject okay so let's start with is yes, amit do you have a question no no ma'am sorry okay no problem chaliye we will start with z today yes z would you like to start yes ma'am bataiye sita dash going to the party sita is going to the party absolutely correct sita is going to the party right Okay, very good. Uh, uh, Z, thank you so much. Okay, Vishwanath, would you like to answer the next one? Want to go to school? Ram. Do not want to go to school. Which one? Don't or does not? Do not or does not? Do not, madam. Ram is third person singular. Third person singular के साथ always one with s. Ram does not want to go to school. Okay, Vishwanath. Third person singular always uses s with it. Okay, Ram does not want to go to the school. Uh, go to school. Very good. Thank you, Vishwanath. Okay, after Vishwanath, Vishakha, would you like to try? Yes, ma'am. Uh, they do not want to eat cakes. They do not want to eat cakes. Very good. Thank you so much, Vishakha. After Vishakha, we have uh, Tarla. Tarla, would you like to try? Yeah, ma'am. बताइए. Samuel. Samuel has already paid his his bills. Very good. Samuel has already paid his bills. Very good. Thank you so much, Tarla. After Tarla, Tanisha. Tanisha, would you like to answer? Okay. Shub. I think it's Subba. Subba Rao. Would you like to answer? Okay. Shobha, then you can answer. Yeah, ma'am. I have been to Japan. I have been to Japan. Very good, Shobha. Thank you. I have been to Japan. You. Yes, yes, correct. Absolutely correct. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay, after that we have Shagufta. Shagufta, would you like to try? Yes, ma'am. Have. Rex and Sammy have gone out. Very good. Absolutely correct. Thank you so much, Shagufta. After Shagufta, Shantanu, would you like to try? Yes, ma'am. We were getting ready for bed. We were getting ready for bed. Very good, Shantanu. Thank you. After Shantanu, Rina. Rina, would you like to try? Yes, ma'am. 
yes ma'am jonathan if jonathan yes jonathan it's his lens uh, alone ma'am very good jo yes excuse me ma'am excuse me ma'am yes yes abhay ma'am we are getting ready for bed hum sone ke liye ja rahe hain taiyar hain meaning ma'am hum, hum sone ke liye taiyar ho rahe the okay we okay. were getting ready okay. for bed matlab hum sone ke liye taiyar ho rahe the yes reena yes ma'am i have a doubt in yes. this subject verb agreement sometimes we speak uh, for example practice makes a man perfect that time i confused that makes make uh, so please clear it ma'am practice makes yes. makes a man perfect that is the idiom i think yes program. absolutely correct practice makes a man perfect practice yes. kya hai reena practice is third person singular right yes so third person singular hai to obviously verb ke baad kya aayega but ma'am practice is a verb also yeah practice is also a verb but it is also a noun T I I S E वाला शायद वर्ब है टी आई सी वाला नाउन है ओके रीना यस मैम इट मीन मतलब मेरा कहना है ना इस तरह का जो क्वेश्चन होता है ना उसमें मुझे बहुत प्रॉब्लम होता है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेक लगेगा थैंक्स थैंक यू इस तरह का जो होता है ना वो उसमें समझ नहीं होता है सो आप बताइए रीना आपने उसका क्लास किया है जो हमने किया अभी अभी what was that uh, concrete and abstract nouns yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma so, pa- so practice is one of the abstract nouns practice is an abstract noun right practice ke do tarah hote hain right one is practice that is the verb i practiced playing uh, sports yeah i practice piano every day and dusra hota hai the act of practice jo ki hamara noun hai okay होगा प्रैक्टिस सिंगुलर फॉर्म में है राइट ये तो प्लूरल तो नहीं है आपने प्लूरल और सिंगुलर भी किया है ओके इफ आई स्पीक प्रैक्टिस a man perfect so chie if i say cat eats fish cat eats fish ye kya hai cat hamara ek singular noun hai isliye iske sath eats aa raha hai but cats eat fish ye kya hai cats hamara plural noun hai isliye iske sath eat aa raha hai understood reena clear yes yes ma'am but uh, yes cat's name it is clear now but it is clear already actually but some condition i face this types of problem May, then solve some... solve lots of questions reena maybe uh, like iske aapko bahut sare exercises mil jayenge online it's very easy to come across these kind of exercises kijiye like ek ghanta baith ke sirf yahi exercise kar lijiye okay reena ओके मैम वंस यू डू मोर ऑफ समथिंग देन ओनली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड सिर्फ रूल जानने से कोई फायदा नहीं है राइट जस्ट लाइक मैथ्स इफ यू नो द रूल्स इट वोंट ईल्ड यू एनी बेनिफिट अंटिल अनलेस यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग ओके यस मैम राइट मैम यस चलिए वेरी नाइस रीना थैंक यू आफ्टर रीना राघवेंद्र वुड यू लाइक टू आंसर मैम यस मैम बताइए दे डैश इन अ ग्रुप इन अ ग्रुप दे स्टडी इन अ ग्रुप एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट थर्ड पर्सन प्लूरल Okay. After Raghavendra, we have uh, Pratap. Pratap, would you like to try? Yes, ma'am. It Nine. looks weird. It looks weird, right? Ajeeb. Weird. Okay, okay. Ajeeb. Very good. It is third person singular neuter. Third person singular neuter. Hai it. So it looks weird. Very good. Very good, Pratap. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Asa hona chahiye. Aapka, matlab your. Uh, पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस आइडिया शुड बी सो क्लियर कि आपको अगर मैं एक पर्सनल प्रोनाउन दू जैसे कि हर ओके okay, आप झट से बता देंगे कि मैम ये थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर है फेमिन है एंड ये हमारा पोजेसिव है सो so, एकदम कौन से पार्ट में आ रहा है कौन सा डिविजन में आ रहा है कौन से केस में आ रहा है एवरीथिंग शुड बी क्लियर टू यू गाइज ओके ऑल राइट वेरी गुड प्रताप थैंक यू 
Okay, after Pratap Meera, would you like to answer? I dash at 9 p.m. every day. Ma'am, I sleep. I sleep at 9, at 9 p.m. PM every day. Every day. Yes, Absolutely yes. correct. Very good. Very good, Meera. Thank, Thank you. you. After Meera, Manju. Manju, would you like to try? Ronnie and Geetha dash not go to the park. Ma'am. Ronnie and Geetha do not go to the park. Do not go to the park. Very good. Good. Uh, this is plural, right? Third person, plural. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Manju. After Manju, uh, Kartik, would you like to try? Okay, ma'am. Bataye. Sam and Jack? Exercise. Exercise in the morning. Very good. Thank you so much, uh, Kartik. Okay. After this, tell me, you dash r slash is late. Yes, what, uh, what will this be? Uh, Dipali, would you like to answer? You are late. You are late. Very good. So, you ke saath hamesha R hoga. Second person, right? Very good, Dipali. Okay, next pataye. I and Yafir uh, B dash Yes, Amit, would you like to answer? Yes, ma'am. We Bataille. go to the park, ma'am. We go to the park. Absolutely correct. Second person, uh, this is first person, plural. Right? Very good, yes. Amit. Okay, yes, and the last one will be? Ma'am. Yes? I have a question, ma'am. Ma'am, how to identify verb, uh, noun and uh, adjective? Right. One second, Amit. Coming to your question. One second. Uh, Abhay, tell us your last one. Sam and I dash friends. Uh, Sam and I are friends. Very good. Sam and I are friends, right? Because I can see here that it is singular, hai, first person. Hai. So, am hona chahiye. No. Because Sam is already there, we are making it plural. Subject plural. Ban rahe. So, Sam and I are friends. Yes. Very good. Yes, Very good. Thank you right so here. much, Abhay. Uh, and coming to your question, Amit, ki kaise identify karna hai? Identify ab tabhi kar sakte hai, Amit, when you are very, very clear about the parts of speech. Parts of speech ke baare mein ekdam clear idea hona zaruri hai to identify. For example, if I write something like, uh, going to the park is one of my, uh, Daily habits. Yes, Amit, batayye. What do you think yes. is the subject? What do you think is the verb? Park is subject, ma'am. Going Sir, to the park. park is a subject, please. Very good, very good, Subarao. You are absolutely correct. Going to the park, the entire action is the subject. What is the verb then? Is, is, is the only verb here. Okay. You will always see, Amit, that the subject or the object of a sentence will always be either a noun or a pronoun. Or they can be noun phrases. Noun phrases. This going to the park is a noun phrase. It is basically a gerund phrase. But even gerund phrases are noun phrases. So, the subject is the subject. We can substitute one word. What is it? What? Either what or who or where. Uh, yes. Or where shayad nahi hoga. Where will be used for adverbs if I'm not wrong. But what and who, um, right? Where nahi hoga most probably. What and who are the two questions that will always give you the answer to the subject. So for example, going to the park can be replaced with what? 
we can say what is one of my daily habits and the answer will be going to the park so this entire thing going to the park is being substituted by the word what so it is definitely a subject definitely a noun phrase understood amit yes ma'am ma'am or be or be clear hona chahiye right you should have a clear understanding of what is a noun what is a verb what are the different types of verbs what are the different types of nouns taki koi problem hi na ho bataiye yes yes ma'am wohi ma'am happiness is the key to uh life whatever happiness is the key to life yahan par aap dekh sakte hain dekhte hi aapko samajh mein aa jana chahiye happiness is the subject is is the verb okay understood amit so yahan pe dekhiye ye kya hai happiness kaise hum isko bol sakte hain what is the key to life what is the key to life and your answer will be happiness happiness is the subject which is basically a noun which is basically an abstract noun okay clear yes ma'am so amit aap kya kar sakte hain again you know the rules right i am teaching you guys the rules only you guys will know the rules but until and unless you practice you will not be able to apply those rules uh, everywhere right so what you do is maybe kuch nahi aap search kijiye google mein 20 uh, simple sentences in english 20 simple sentences you bring them out and then you try and break them apart ki ye kya subject hai kya ye object hai kya ye verb hai kaun sa type ka verb hai kaun sa type ka subject hai kya hai nahi hai कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम होता है आप मुझसे पूछिए राइट आई विल ट्राई एंड सॉल्व योर क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन उसको लेकर डिस्कस करेंगे ओके okay? जितना आप खुद को सबमर्ज करेंगे द मोर यू सबमर्ज योरसेल्फ इन दिस लैंग्वेज द इजियर इट विल बी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके यस मैम वट एवर रूल्स यू गाइस आर लर्निंग एंड एक मे बी एक या दो आपको क्वेश्चन में करवा पाती हूँ टर्न के हिसाब से राइट दैट इज जस्ट नॉट इनफ यू हैव टू डू इट ऑन योर ओन एज वेल ओके चलिए This is a word power made easy, and these are the questions that uh, Kartik was referring to. चलिए कार्तिक, tell me what are the questions? The first one, there is a beautiful moon out tonight, and Esther Second and question. I. Not the first one. Let's do the first one. Okay. एक एक करके करते हैं. And Esther and I are going. I hope my screen is visible. And Esther and I are going. Uh, and I are going for a stroll. Would you like to come along with? बताइए. what will it be she and i or her and me this is actually Second. easy yes her and me uh, yes, why her and me ma'am absolutely correct her and me why because yahan pe ye wala sentence hai this is the sentence okay this is the sentence would you like to come with a uh, come along with her and me kyu her and me ho raha hai who wants to explain um, it replaces the I... word us yes ma'am yes, yes, yes. but yes vishakha ma'am still and they are object ma'am uh, in very good, very good uh, very good right. her and me is the object that is the answer i wanted right you is the subject of the sentence like is the verb of the sentence and her and me is the object of the sentence agar koi pronoun object hai to wo kis case mein hoga accusative case mein hoga i ka accusative case kya hai me hai she ka accusative case kya hai her hai right so that is why her and me very good very good and uh, one more thing ma'am with prepositions we always use objective case with prepositions we always use uh, objective case matlab like with ma'am with us all oh, right obviously it. because it is being used as the object itself right so yes, with preposition it will be the object of the preposition of course right absolutely but basic aapko ye baat samajhni hai ki ye object hai isliye ye accusative case ka istemal kiya ja raha hai very good very good thank you okay let's move on to the next one your husband doesn't believe that you are older than me ma'am me You me are older me, than you me. are older than me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I think that is the correct answer. I want to know the rules, ma'am, behind some questions like this one. Your husband doesn't believe that you are older than me. Yes, ma'am. Why not, I, ma'am? Yes. Again, you are older than me. Right? Same rule, Karthik. If you take this as the independent clause, but answer is you... I, ma'am. 
the answer actually i was thinking that only you know that it should be you are older than i but uh, i know why this is you are older than i the sentence actually you know what it is the sentence is you are older than i am this is actually the sentence structure but we don't write the am that is why it is uh, like using i and not me do you guys understand what the sentence is the sentence is you are older than i am okay but we don't write the am this is like a very common expression common way of speaking all right ye thoda sa aap yaad rakh sakte hain if you are speaking about someone who is older than you then you can uh, speak in this manner that you are older than i but it basically means you are older than i am that is why we are using i okay yes next what else maybe we are not as rich as as they yes that is correct can you tell me why because ma'am here again the same say... rule applies okay. maybe we are not as rich as they are okay but the r is not used in the sentence isn't it so yes tatik they hi hoga right answer so when you are comparing for example he is not as smart as so let me just open the wife jab bhi bhi aap comparative degree ka istemal kar rahe hai whenever you are using comparative degree both of the uh, whatever nouns you are comparing they will both be in the nominative case okay for example sam is not as smart as sita okay we can say this and in both of these sentences you can see that in uh, uh, sorry both of these words or nouns are in simply noun form right ab inko agar hum uh, kya kare inko agar hum pronoun form mein karenge to kya hoga he is not as smart as she so this basically means she is okay similarly i can say mm, they are not as rich as i and again it means am um. okay so ma'am just can remember you use this me? i can you tell me use me you can you know like in spoken english most of the time you will see people using uh, the uh, accusative case only object ki tarah use karte hai like she is not as rich as me right but it is not really correct grammatical sense mein dekhenge to correct nahi hai but yes in spoken english we can use it is not incorrect okay so but ye thoda sa aap yaad rakhiye ma'am i think i is better than am ma'am in this sentence i is better than am am to likhenge hi nahi am will always uh, yes. like it is just there for your understanding you will not write is or am it is just there for your mm-hmm. understanding that the sentence basically means they are not as rich as i am i what the sentence means basically is i am richer than them yes. i am richer than them so this will only be used when it is negative okay guys you cannot say i am richer than they then it won't be correct then you will have to say i am not as rich as they are understood guys i'm um, actually i have read one uh, interesting thing about Got this than concept like uh, in second question there is one i mean second yes. question um your husband doesn't believe that you are older than i is correct no ma'am but yes. uh, in in some books it is mentioned that me is also correct they explained that when uh, we are using than as a conjunction uh, then the preferable option is i but when we are treating than as a preposition then the preferable choice is me as we use only object pronouns after uh, prepositions your husband doesn't believe that you are older than 
me see that is what i'm saying that you can use me it is not correct uh, sorry it is not incorrect right but of course um, i would say grammatically i is a better option because what the sentence means is your husband doesn't believe that you are older than i am and that am is not really written in the sentence it is more like indicated words understood karthik yes ma'am yes but yes you can say that he is older than me and that is Absolutely correct. Okay, कोई गलत नहीं बोलेगा. Definitely. Ma'am, other questions are not related to this personal pronouns, ma'am. Yes, I am just. Next, can you go to next part, ma'am? Test two harder. Yes. And that uh, fourth one, ma'am. Fourth one. I can't remember who it was. I can't remember who it was. That is what it Why? should be, right? Why, ma'am? Why? I... who it was because uh, who it was who is the subject that's why you already know that who should be the subject always and whom should be the object right yes ma'am yes who is always in the uh, nominative case and whom is in the accusative case if i write it as a separate word a separate sentence sorry who it was so basically who it was ka ye declarative form hai you can understand that right shailendra because uh, it is before was right so if we bring it if we bring the was before uh, it it becomes interrogative same sentence same everything just the sentence type is changing so if i say who was it what is the subject why of I this got, sentence uh, why i got confused means in this sentence the subject is i you know ma'am basically no how can it be i because this part i can't remember is one independent clause and who it was is another independent clause okay 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 like understood two, two sentences okay yes so this is the subject clear and what else what are the question this one either of these two small cars is properly sorry sixth either of question, these sixth question six no one else but Her ever made a perfect score on the test. No one else but her. Right. Yes, ma'am. You are correct. I please. No explain. one. No one but her ever made a perfect score on the test. Now you are putting me in a problem because I know the answer, but I don't know why. No one but her ever made a perfect score. Or. the subject of the sentence is actually no one okay but her but her is something okay no one ever made a perfect score on the test this is the actual sentence okay karthik and no one is functioning as the subject this much i can tell you but her so you can also write this sentence as no one ever made a perfect score on the test but her okay that is also correct because you know that but is what kind of a uh, conjunction it is a coordinating like, conjunction right coordinating like I, I, I conjunction got, i got confused whether but is a preposition or a conjunction here that's why i conjunction definitely a conjunction okay but no 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 i don't think it is a conjunction i think it is a preposition maybe i am not sure okay karthik i i have no idea about why it is but her exactly but i am sure that it will be but her as ma'am if it is her then it should be a preposition ma'am because because uh, we use but should be a preposition see yeah. you can put this entire phrase but her at the very end also okay then also it will make sense we can speak like this no one ever made a perfect score on the test but her okay that will also make sense mm. any rule behind this ma'am i don't know i really don't know i have no idea but uh, yes these kind of sentences you will use butter okay so you will use uh, object and not uh, subject form of the uh, pronoun okay i'll have to look at this sentence okay i'll have to look at the rules of the sentence tenth okay 10th one. one tell uh, whoever is waiting to come in tell whoever is waiting to come in uh, this is easy right this is subject 
whomever will be the object of the sentence right so you tell whoever is waiting so it's simple you tell is one you tell is one independent clause right imperative sentence whoever is waiting oh okay understood whoever is waiting whoever is the subject is is the verb waiting is the main verb and yahan pe uh, you is the subject and tell is the main verb understood karthik okay ma'am you tell is separate uh, class yes you tell is separate class whoever is waiting is separate class oh okay ma'am okay. understood to come in is basically our whatever ma'am next is the hardest clear? hardest is really difficult ma'am first question ma'am okay first one only is difficult we have just interviewed an applicant 